Hi everyone, welcome back. I am in the middle of a very large number of unboxings today. Um, but this one I am so excited for. It's been here since Monday and today is Saturday. So it's been very hard for me to wait this long to open it. But I really, you know, I love to do these unboxings on camera. So here we go. This is a... Um, package from a lady named Helen McLean, a Victorian, um, I'm going to say artist. She does, she creates leather goods and related items. So, oh my goodness, look at this package. Here is, um, here's the empty box. <laughs> so one thing about Helen that I've read is that she uh, only does sustainable packaging, so there's no plastics or anything in here. See here it says handmade in Australia, helenmclean.com.au. It's a gorgeous little stamp here, January through December, and then 1 through 31, and then 2018 through 2027. Happy mail, a cute stamp here, and tied, tied with string. It's so pretty, I'm, I'm almost not wanting to open it, but of course I must open it. So I first heard about Helen um, when we had an event, a planner event here in Melbourne called So Lame, um, hosted by Denise at Luscious Labels, and Helen donated some um, TN inserts to the swag, if you like, for the event. And so... Um, that's where we heard about her. She left one of her uh, cards, like a uh, advertising card, in the box, and uh, yeah, her her stuff looked gorgeous. And so I went onto her YouTube channel and her Instagram, and I found this little item that I'm absolutely excited for. I think it's quite a thick package. Um, it uses paper tape here on the back but no other tape at all so um, again no plastics or anything like that okay let's open and then we have more beautiful packaging inside oh my goodness Helen this is stunning and I've got beautiful papers to use now in my journaling look at these papers it's just beautiful oh I'm gonna have to take a little picture of this Okay, let's open this up. It's just so stunning. I'm going to have to cut it, unfortunately. So we have this really lovely paper wrapped around decoratively. All right, let's get into the actual package, shall we? All right, let's open this up. Look at this gorgeous thing. I think I've just put a bit of a uh, mark there from my knife going onto the leather, which makes me very upset, but I'm hoping, yeah, look, it's rubbing out. So it's just a little mark, thankfully. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful this leather is, this gorgeous red. So stunning. Oh, I love it, Helen. It's gorgeous. Thank you. You've done an amazing job and I haven't even opened it yet. Okay, let's take a look inside so you can see what it is that I've picked up. So, um, obviously this is going to patina over time. It's going to be all oh, dark and gorgeous. So it has this beautiful um, closure here, like a proper closure. And when we open it up, Let's see what we have inside. Look at this gorgeousness. Okay, it's coming off a bit more red in real life, uh, in the camera than it is in real life. It's not that red. It's a little, it's um, definitely more burgundy. Um, but that's just a factor of the light, I think. So this is an art set. 
bit different for me, isn't it? Let's take this out. Product information. Your product has been carefully handcrafted using real leather. Natural and therefore unique in itself. That some products may show marks such as scars, which is normal. What Mine already has one thanks to my knife. I feel like an idiot. Your product is one of a kind. Taking care of your product is easy. No additional care or conditioning is required. The leather has good stain and water resistant characteristics and will retain its finished colour regardless of environment. Handmade in Australia by small boutique Australian business owner Helen McLean. Helen takes pride in her craft and hopes you will love and cherish your product for many years to come. I definitely will. And here are Helen's details at the bottom of this card. Okay, so we have this beautiful Helen McLean leather goods and stationery for desk and travel. So it comes with a bunch of stuff. Let me take you through it. Obviously, first up, you can see is this Lecterm 1917 uh, sketchbook. So it's an A5 sketchbook with 150 GSM paper. And I'll just open up and show you inside. It has the um, normal stuff that comes with one of these notebooks. A uh, place to put in your details. And then just blank, beautiful pages. Very, very nice paper. Comes with two bookmarks in the middle. So we have a black and a gray stripe. And then in the very back of the journal, we have the sketchbook, I should say. We have the um, stickers that you can put on to have a certain volume or whatever. And we have a pocket there. So this has slid into the into this um, little strap here that holds the journal in place. And the idea is that you can take this out with you and use it for sketchbooking on the go. For sketching on the go, I should say. Um, now I have a couple of ideas for this but that's that's the first one and I'm going to stick with that idea um, that's the plan for the moment so you can see here on the right it comes with a couple of tools as well so we have here um, a white gel pen this is a glaze pen um, I think this is Sakura it definitely yeah it is Sakura it's a Sakura glaze white pen it also comes with HB Pencil by Derwent. It comes with two water brush water brushes. Um, so one thin brush and one thicker brush. And also a Pigma Micron in a 005. which is a very very fine nib for um, sketching and of course this is archival ink so that's the tools on this side but over here you may see something poking out here so there's a couple of things in here first up are these two little um, replacements I, I think I think they're replacements for the brush so it says koi water brush self moistening art brush um, it looks like it might be this piece in here that you can replace. I'm not sure, um, but I think that's what it must be. That's handy. And then also in here we have a little paint set. And we have um, this little kneadable art eraser. So, so the final thing in this tin, in this pack is this tin and it is a, a vintage pastels artist quality watercolor pan set. So and it's from Prima, Prima Marketing. So when um, I bought the, the book, um, the art set, Helen asked me to choose which set I wanted and there are a couple of sets to choose from. So I chose this one which has these gorgeous little um, oh my goodness look at them pastel watercolors they look like such beautiful colors periwinkle sage golden glow terracotta suede stone gray breezy soft lilac charcoal dark rose apple blossom and dusky mauve which I suspect these three here are probably going to be my favorites <laughs> Um, the other option I think was a tropical, so much brighter, which also, you know, is appealing, but you know me, I thought these were probably very much me. So I'm not going to swatch them today. Today I just wanted to show you the book itself, the unboxing of the entire thing. We have a little swatch card here as well, so I definitely will swatch them soon. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, first of all, I just wanted to show you what was in here. I was just desperate to unbox it and I want to have a play with it. I want to try a few things out and, um, you know, the cover itself is so gorgeous, ignoring the art supplies for the moment. Yeah, look, the cover itself is just so gorgeous that I really wanted to just show you this first. Show you this gorgeous craftsmanship, craftswomanship, I should say, craftspersonship. The beautiful crafting that has gone into that has gone into creating this this beautiful thing. Just imagine carrying this around with you um, to a coffee shop or you know wherever you wherever you like. Um, oh, look, it's just gorgeous. Number of different colors. There was a very nice green, of course brown, as well as uh, I believe a navy kind of color from memory. Um, but I had to have the red, like the red is stunning. It does have um, Helen's details um, stamped into the bottom here as well. Let's take a look at the stitching. The stitching is gorgeous. She does all of this herself. I encourage you to check out her YouTube channel. Her videos are beautifully produced and um, uh, just gorgeous. And you get to see how she makes everything. You get to see her stamping the holes in the leather to put fastenings on and um, she has some beautiful pastels as well which you know you're probably surprised that I didn't get a pastel one but I just love the idea of having something like this that will last me a very long time and, and also just have that classic styling to it it's just stunning let's see if I can find something to match to show you the color okay so I've just pulled the, the lighting down a little just to to be able to um, show you that it's, a, it's much darker than it, it looked originally. I have a couple of platters here. I don't know if they're really going to be that useful to show you the, the difference, but here's my um, tweed from Hobonichi, and that's pretty true to colour on screen. It may be a little warmer in real life than it is in, in the camera, but that is actually looking pretty true. Yeah, I think that's pretty true to colour now. You can sort of see that with the uh, with the colour brought down. It's just gorgeous. I'm hoping I haven't hurt anything. It, it's almost gone actually. Can, can you just see that line? I don't know if you can even see it anymore. Oh how silly was I doing that just slicing through. Like I didn't press hard and it's paper tape. I should have just torn it by hand. Helen I'm so sorry if you were freaking out when you watched that. I'm so sorry. I'm freaking out myself already but it's um, virtually gone. I can't even see it really I mean I can see a very faint line there but thankfully I haven't split it what an idiot I feel so silly anyway let me open this up again so you can see um, how beautiful it is inside it's still coming up a bit red um, on camera whereas it is much more of a burgundy or maroon I guess you could say in real life oh we have this um, here oh I reckon we could probably when you're on the go You'd be able to put this side of the book under here just to hold the pages down. You know, if it's windy or whatever, let me just put a couple of pages in. So you could be working on it like so, where you're um, able to sketch or watercolor or whatever with this um, holding that the pages down. And it does tend to lie fairly flat anyway. Probably even better if you just used it a little bit so I'm embarking on some art journaling um, I've done a little bit recently actually that's why I have this out I wanted to show you in case you haven't seen this video yet um, I've watched someone called Felicitas Maya on YouTube and Instagram and she does this beautiful art journaling with um, self self portraits selfies whatever you want to call them and so I really loved the concept and so I tried it out for myself and I love how it turned out. So here is, here is my little spread that I ended up doing just with acrylic paint in the background and then I've splattered some um, watercolour pearl colours on there as well. Use a little transparency um, phrase phrase thingy here it says you can't use up creativity the more you use the more you have a quote from Maya Angelou and yeah I just wanted to put swooshes of pink paint across my face 
I love how these gold spots have turned out. I think that would be beautiful um, makeup to do in real life. Um, and these extra black bits around the edges as well. I've layered papers under there. There's a bit of texture. Uh, in hindsight, there's some things I would do differently, but this was my very first attempt, so I'm very happy with how it's turned out. But, um, there, yeah, there are some things I would do differently if I was to do it again, and I thought maybe it'd be good to try some of that out in here. But also I've bought some acrylic paints, which I've never really used before in any great detail. So I think a bit of a bigger surface and um, thicker paper to try that out would be good. I'm still going to use it in my Hobonichi on this super thin paper anyway. But I'd love to try it out in, in more detail on this paper. Also some watercolouring as well, of course, because who doesn't love watercolouring? And I love these vintage pastels that she's given me within this set as well. So everything came together like there was nothing you had to pick up separately. It's a complete travel art set. And by travel, just meaning taking it out of the house, not, not you know, necessarily for airplane travel or whatever. Um, so the book, the pastels or, or other sets that she has available, the little eraser, as well as the tools here on the side, the pencil, the um, jelly roll, well, it's a glaze, uh, Sakura glaze, and then the paint brushes and... Um, Pigma Micron pen. It ha this little flap here at the top, of course, will cover if you have tall brushes um, and they sit under there, then that will cover that to protect the book as well. So she's absolutely thought of everything. Oh, and not to mention, there's even a pen loop on the side here as well. Decent sized pen loop. Let's put this Pigma Micron in. Heaps of room for the Micron, tons to spare. Uh, in fact, let's see what else we could fit. We could fit this water brush definitely it's a very fat one as you can see so um, yes it's great to have uh, an extra pen loop there as well I'm just gonna move these around a little bit I think I want to put them I just want to put my brushes together I think and then there's space there to add something else if I wanted to so look at this guys what do you think like I said very different for me but I'm hoping it's not super unexpected one it's gorgeous two it's Australian handmade which I can't tell you how much I love that and how proud I am of Helen who I don't know but I'm very proud of her for being able to put together something so beautiful um, number three I'm um, you can hopefully see from my channel that I've I'm mo really moving towards the more creative um, art journaling kind of style I've almost moved away from planning not really I still plan but I plan very simply because it's just it's much easier for me and it actually helps me with my planning process to keep it simple which makes sense doesn't it so um, yeah right now I'm really into paint and color and um, photos and you know I, I just feel like it's a bit of a shift for me I had brunch with one of my friends the other day and she said it really looks like you're embracing the art kind of thing and you're moving into that space more creative space and and I realized that's true that's actually is what I'm doing I have one more unboxing to do today and it is the paints that I've purchased so I'm gonna head off now and do that but then I'm really gonna play with these goodies here um let me know if you'd like to see me starting the sketchbook that's a very scary concept for me very daunting um and it might not be anything too different to um the self-portrait spread that i did in here i may just repeat this in a way but with a with a different you know I might just improve upon this as my introduction page you know a picture of myself because apparently that's what I like to do <laughs> um, actually on that I think what I'm doing there is just kind of recording some memories you know I I, I realized that over the years we don't I don't know depends on who you are but I've, I don't take pictures of myself and as a, as a group of people we tend to not take photos of ourselves when we're out or anything either so there's not really a record of how we look um, 
that's a different group of people you know so a lot of people do take a lot of photos of themselves and that's that's totally cool but many of us don't and so there's no real record of that and I really want to see in the future I want to be able to look back and you know see how I've changed over the years and this might be the way to do it I don't know if that's silly tell me, tell me what you think I'm keen to hear from you but I, I just feel like that's something I want to do right now and I'm inspired by Felicitas absolutely um, I think she is just amazing I'm gonna link her channel below she has um, a wonderful uh, artistic style beautifully creative I don't know how she does it she starts with with one thing which is just a bit of watercolor on a page and not much at all but by the end she has this beautiful spread with beautiful artwork just gorgeous I'm absolutely blown away every time I watch one of her videos so I'm gonna link her below and um, if you do go visit her let, let her know that I sent you um, I've had a couple of quick chats with her on Instagram lately uh, I think she's just just fascinating I believe she lives in Germany um, I'm not quite sure but she's one of Ali Edwards uh, one little word people this year that's how I kind of stumbled across her I think was in the one little word process and I saw what she did for her start you know her journal to start the process of one little word and it was just stunning so I think she's amazing um, so I'm gonna share two people with you today one is Felicitas Maya uh, and the other is Helen McLean who has made this gorgeous thing um, I I'm I'm almost speechless I'm not obviously I'm a youtuber I have to talk <laughs> but I just think this is absolutely gorgeous I'm so excited to have it. Well, oh, one thing I didn't mention is I've thought about using this for work as well, right? Take this out, pop in my Hobonichi, um, any pens I need here, uh, even business cards can pop in there, and then I can pop notes or reference items in this pocket here as well. Lay this out in a meeting. How cool am I going to look? <laughs> but, you know, I thought it could be useful for that as well. It actually, this is a bit silly, but it matches my new Mimco handbag perfectly. This... Um, beetroot is the color Mimco uses the name Mim Mimco uses for the color but this deep red burgundy kind of color uh, matches that bag per perfectly I can't wait to catch up with my friends and do some art journaling together or any kind of creative stuff and take this gorgeous thing with me I absolutely love it if I know I've said it already Helen but thank you so much it's just gorgeous I'm in love Alright guys, please let me know what you think. I'm so keen to hear from you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, I'm going to be using this on camera and all sorts of uh, creative, arty, fun stuff. And I'm just starting out so you can start the journey with me or you can help me out along the way if you're a seasoned art journaling person. I'm super keen to hear from you lots of fun in the comments. I'll see you there and thanks again for watching. See you all super super soon. Bye!